And we're off and running with the 2017 Akron Summerfest oh, Parade. Argus. Argus. I said Akron. <laughs> Sorry. Argus. Akron's next week. Scott Sager here with you with my lovely wife, Glenda. Here on a beautiful Saturday morning. We're in front of Connie's Cottage Antiques up here in Argus on the uh, corner of Michigan Road here. And it is the perfect day for a parade. It absolutely is. Blue skies. You couldn't ask for better temperatures. You really couldn't. They're doing a great job. A uh, little bit of a delay here this morning, but a lot of folks out here enjoying the uh, beautiful parade day here in Summerfest. It's a full day of activities. They had a ton of activities last night, uh, followed by the parade today, along with a full day of things happening, including a big barbecue contest. So uh, That sounds great. If you're out there watching right now, make sure you get up to Argus, Indiana today for the Summerfest 2017. I want to thank our, uh, Alex Stearns again for doing such a great job on our camera up here today. He is an Argus native. Happy to have him on the crew today. We've got a nice sheet here provided by uh, the unofficial mayor of, <laughs> of Argus, Mark Vanderweel. We want to thank him, all he's doing with Ace Do It Best. We do appreciate that list so we know what's coming in the parade. Absolutely. Well, here they come. The kids are lined up. They're ready to get some candy here today, so yes, we're going to have are. some fun here. And, of course, the uh, police and the fire engines always come first. They have to start it out for us. Absolutely. And uh, right there we've got the Argus Police Department as our first vehicle. throwing candy. The kids are ready. Oh yeah, the kids are excited. They got their hands over their ears. They're running around. And started off with the Argus Police Department right here. It's our first parade float. It's our neighbor from Rochester. Let's talk about who that is. That's Corey. Bowman. Bowman from Rochester. We've got the engine six coming up right here. And on board are uh, the softball team. Yeah. Uh, 14 and under yep. softball team. 14 and under soft or, uh, softball. Excuse me as I turn up my microphone a little bit. Loud sirens always part of the parade. Engine 2 with Argus 11 and under softball, Little, uh, Little Miss, Princesses, Ella Bean, and Cody Sexton. Then we've got Engine 1 coming up here. Engine 1 is the Chicago Fire Soccer Camp with coaches from England, Argentina, and Chile. Shined up those fire trucks really well for us here this morning. Presenting colors this morning. Got some Boy Scouts. Pack 255 out of Argus, Indiana. And they are doing a fine job carrying those colors. They are. A little windy. We got Dad helping out a little bit there, but they're doing great. The American Red Cross up next. Important to our community for sure. Absolutely. All the great things they do for Marshall and Fulton counties. And headed our way, we have Children of the American Revolution, the Stephen Wilcox Society. Oh. 
Got some mu more beautiful old tractors here. Kids coming along. And then we've got 2017 Miss Blueberry. That's Brianna Andrews. That vehicle sponsored by the Auto Park GMC. And Happy. then we have the first runner-up, Hannah Walker. Hannah in the yellow Jeep here. She goes by. It's more of a gold or rust Jeep. Not sure what color that really is. Yeah. But again, the Auto Park gold. providing that for them up here today. Thanks for their courtesy vehicles. And the blueberry. The blueberry yeah, itself. Blueberry. The kids are going nuts for the blueberry. I never knew this, being from Rochester. They love the blueberry up they here. They do. Well, then we've got some fantastic tractors provided by the McIntyre family. And they are some beauties. Got a W450 International going by us now. We've got a farm all, of course. Got an old plow on the back. Of course, we just had the power show last week with all the tractors. I they, believe they were featuring John Deere's this they year. They were featuring Don, John Deere. There were a lot of farm malls out there as well. Sure, everyone has to be represented. They do, they do. There's an old International 660 coming across the screen. And the International 600. Proudly displaying the American flag on the front there. They're okay. They're okay. Letting the kids know they can go out in front of the cameras sure. here. They're <laughs> welcome to get it. We love to see the kids yeah. on camera. Yeah, if she sees any if she sees any candy in front of her, just go get it. It's fine. Yeah, as long as she doesn't run into them, we're good. <laughs> And headed our way, we have the Dolls Baton Twirlers. Um, I'm sure they are, have been working hard to get ready for this, and they look fantastic. They do. Look at the, oh, the cute kids coming up. That's always fun. We appreciate that. We enjoy that. And with some big, strong boys there in the front carrying the banner, of Absolutely. course, to let us know who they are. <laughs> and again, that's Dolls Baton Twirlers. they got two leaders and then the whole group behind them there, so... See a little performance here by the baton twirlers. Absolutely. Dolls Baton Twirlers is out of Plymouth, Indiana. Happy to have them down today. My mom was a baton twirler in high school. She swears to this day she could still do it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm ask I think you about we, we that. Might, yeah. that might be a featured presentation Ooh. on RTC TV four. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely uh, not that coordinated, so it was never my thing. Love to watch them do it, though. Absolutely. And they're having fun. That's the they important are. part of this. Always fun is the most important thing. You know, and working together, um, enjoying that time with their friends, it's great. Absolutely. Well, again, you're here at the Summerfest Parade, Parade here in Argus, Indiana. This beautiful Saturday morning in June. Come on down if you're watching out there. Uh, come, come on up, depending on where you're from. Argus <laughs> is not too far from everywhere. Either. It's <laughs> right in the middle of everywhere. So uh, they're doing great things. We recognize these folks here. I this think is I do know these people coming. RTC Fiber Communications, providing professional IT service, web, internet, and cable. And uh, they're now up here in Argus where they're fiber connections. There's Erica Heidi giving us the big wave. Erica's our marketing director. See Paul Carpenter walking by. Thanks for being here today. Over on the other side, I see Donna McCall and uh, Tammy Pollock. And here's Michelle. Oh, she's going to give us, away, oh, giving us some that. tootsie rolls. Good to see you this morning, Michelle. <laughs> she knows we got to keep going here. RTC Fiber Communications. Everything is faster with fiber. Available here in Argus, Indiana. And we also have Little Discoveries Preschool coming by. Don't want to forget them. Cute little float there with the kids. They're all having fun, decked out in their t-shirts. Beautiful old wagon there. I'd like to put that in the yard. That's what a, you would, wouldn't you? This is the Johnson family. Johnson They're family tractors. tractors here. Again, a Farmall family here. There's an old Farmall 1206 Turbo. That's fun. Kids coming by, they're dropping off schedules for their sports teams. You have to enjoy that. You got your Argus soccer team out here, passing out their schedules for 2017-18. 
and now we have CNS Outdoors. CNS Outdoors, if you need something to, in here before you come to CNS, they were a great sponsor of ours uh, for our coverage up here. We appreciate them. If you need anything. I hear them. some old ones coming up from the Hain uh, family. The Hain Farm Tractors. Beautiful case just went by, of course, the uh, orange there. And a 1948. That's wow. a 48 Co-op E3 from the Merle Hain family. Oh, and here's something fun. Here's a 1957 Metropolitan. You don't see those every day. We've done no, some car don't. shows, but that's a fun one I haven't seen before. And a 46 Studebaker pickup truck. Yeah, the 57 uh, Metropolitans owned by Mark, uh, Mike Horvath. And the 1946 Studebaker's pickup truck is owned by the Stoffers. Fun little tractor there with uh, Howard Carlisle representing the USMC. Uh, here's the one I like, the 64 Volkswagen from yeah. Calvin Bailey. Calvin Bailey's got fun. Look at that. He I love the little that out. on that, too. Isn't that great? He's having a lot of fun. Got some good footage there. Thank you for that, Alex. That is fantastic. Boy, that's a lot of fun. I would go on the road with that for sure. I'll remember that. And the Argus Youth Baseball and Softball. They love their sports in August. They are fired up. Boy, yeah. they are. They're having fun. And that's the first time I've seen the dog on the float, so I'm impressed with that. They're having Absolutely. some fun here today. Where are we at now, Glenda? We've got um, the uh, youth baseball, baseball t-ball. And t-ball teams. Mm -hmm. Being pulled by John Deere out here, 1949 John Deere. You know, there's nothing better than watching a t-ball game okay. for enjoyment, let me tell you. <laughs> a great summer pastime. They can be long, but they are a lot of fun, they are aren't fun. they? And right here we've got the uh, Oliver Ford Rockies T-ball team. <laughs> Making them all famous here today. RTC TV, happy to be a part of Argus family. And headed our way, we have the Affordable Tree Service. Affordable Tree Service. Out of Argus, Indiana. Out of Argus, Indiana. And by gosh, they got a tree there, don't they? They do. And hometown towing here in Argus Auto Repair. You can give them a call 574-952-0098. And they've got several trucks just ready to go for they you. They do. They do. Uh, again, we're here at Connie's Cottage just outside. She was kind enough to give us a little bit of uh, power here today so that we could run our operations. Happy to sit outside on the corner here at the stoplight in Argus having some fun today. And after hometown towing, we've got the Lions Club of Argus, Indiana. Folks throwing out a lot of candy right there, being pulled by a new Holland tractor. Lions Club does great work in uh, every community, and I'm sure Argus is glad to have them here. Absolutely. And they're... <laughs> Making some people famous here. RTC TV, Argus Community. Fire protection for Walnut and Greek Township, Green Township. And that's going to do it for the parade here today. We want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Scott Sager, Alex Stearns, my wife, Glenda Sager. It was a great time. Good time today. Thanks again for tuning in to RTC TV 4.